Hello and good day everyone. Today, we will be discussing about the history of civil engineering in the Philippines by Dindo Mohika. To begin with, please try to look at your slide. During Spanish time, as I've discussed before, uh, there's a lot of uh, study that uh, the the Spanish or the Spaniards have uh, colonized the Philippines for a long time. So before, as per Dindo, there is no Filipino or civil engineers. And also, I think I have discussed also this one that the Indian builders called themselves as the Maestro de Obras or the Master Builders. And Master Builders is called construction for man, no? Uh, in our construction today, we call the the, the head uh, of the team as the foreman no? of an activity. So, only Spaniards have this uh, right to become a, a civil engineer no? by that time. No? Uh, we are treated as, we are treated by them as a slave, you know, as a laborers. So in uh, that's how hard it was, you no? Know? With uh, if uh, that's the time that we do not feel the freedom, you no. Know? And intramuros, intramuros, intramuros was established by the Spaniards as a model community also. Okay. For our next light, in 1846. Uh, the Pasig River Lighthouse was the first lighthouse masonry built erected in the Philippines. So, Parola means lighthouse. Okay, uh, by the way, lighthouse is used no, for navigation purposes. So, uh, it is a picture of the old lighthouse. 1852. So I think I have discussed this one before, no? Puente Colgante. So that is uh, that is term used for suspension bridge in Spanish, a hanging bridge. So it is owned by Encoste e Compania. The bridge was first named Puente de Claveria. The suspension bridge measured 110 meters or 360 feet long and 7 meters and tw or 23 feet wide and had two lanes that allowed passage of horses, carabaudron carriages and opened for pedestrians traveling on foot between Quiapo and Intramuros. So if we are not uh, familiar with the place, so uh, same lang yapon sa Kua. I am not familiar. <laughs> So it is good for those people who, who are living in Manila or in nearby areas sa Quiapo or sa Intramuros. So just try to look at the picture. So it is how it looks like, suspension bridge. So 1867, the project for public supply of fresh water to the city dates from the early 18th century. So there was a project for public supply of fresh water. So 1868 to the Bureau of Public Works and Highways, so Obras Publicas, and Bureau of Communications and Transportation. So it was being created. 1878 and 1918, Don Francisco Carriedo y Peredo, his will for the building of Manila water system. So most probably, uh, this person are uh, is. Uh, the main author of uh, building the Manila water system. 1875, it was King Alfonso II, no, not the second, but the twelfth, rather, of Spain promulgates the real decree directing the office of the Inspector of Public Works of the Philippines to submit a general plan of railroad in Luzon. So by that time, no class, no? So I think railroad is the main or 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 the projects uh, the project that being 
uh, prioritized by the by the rulers no we are ruled by the spanish and of course i think uh, basically sa Sp spain uh, normal sila ang na ay railroads no even sila ang public places so meaning to say ang um, unsay naka inspire inspire meaning to say kung unsay naka inspire sa sa pag make sa to ang uh, railroad kundili ang mga taga Spain Okay, look at the picture of King Alfonso the 12th. 1876, the general plan for railways was drawn, so it is a continuation, no? Sa sa pag uh, sa, sa pag uh, prioritize the project you know, being car carried out. So it is uh, from the island of Luzon, and it it, it covers the Pampanga River, no? And the building of Tutuban Station in Tondo District. So this look at the picture. So it just shows the pictures nga ina na niya ang uh, uh, although it looks like a a bridge. Yeah, of course it's a bridge because its function is to travel from one place to another and because of water, you know, uh, flow of water. So it is one way of transporting uh, passengers or commuters from one place to another place no delivering their goods and services so 1880 school of maestro de obras called escuela practica y martes oficios de manila was founded so its first filipino graduates were julio hernandez so 1891 so this is the continuation of our discussion 1883 uh, the study of the first railroad project between Manila and Tagupan <laughs> done by Antonio de la Camara was approved so um, uh, the the first railroad project between Manila and Tagupan it was established in 1883 the next one is 1887 construction of Manila, Dago Panilod was started. So, Katusha plan pa man to, then, ano da yun, is niyang operational na da yun, yung <coughs> process. So, this is an example of, po ano, kanang uh, picture, images, uh, image sa uh, construction sa uh, uh, atong PNR karam. And, we have here the next slide. 18th and 19th centuries, Philippine engineers were assigned the task of maintaining, repairing, and or remodeling infrastructure pueblos or towns, including churches, convents, and government buildings. Two types of construction in Spanish regime were the pavement of cuts, rubble stone pavement. That is in 18th and 19th century. So uh, during that time, nana si mga late uh, ninth, uh, or earlier ninth, uh, 19th century yun yung mga Filipino engineers nga nga nag work sa mga under sa uh, under the colonial of Spanish or Sp Spain so two types of construction pavement of cuts so in rubble stone pavement so it's about uh, transportation engineering no? ang, ang development sa engineering uh, next slide is the first Philippine Republic of Aguinaldo which is on uh, uh, which is which was on 1898 created department he was able to create the department of war and public works nagaday department of war also. as you can see no, there is a there is a significance uh, connection between war and un, between not war but an army you know as an uh, as an organization and public works no it's, it seems like uh, the uh, the the engineers want to protect the armies from their enemies so it's just that they need some collaboration and cooperation with this organization 
it was succeeded for Spaniards to CS. So during American Legion, so after Bernawala na ang uh, Spanish, uh, Spanish colony, so there was a drastic changes in our engineering culture. So we focus on Eng- English education. So in 1899, the Reserve Bureau of Engineering was placed under the supervision of American military engineers. The 1900s also La Salle de Manila, a private institution offering academic cars for Maestro de Obras, headed by Leon Maria Guerrero, uh, offered Maestro de Obras formal education for architecture and engineering. So, meaning to say, so La Salle de La Salle de um, uh, first of so mga na create sa engineering yeah, education there sa Philippines. So, meaning to say. That uh, that is why uh, we are uh, no, most of our buildings are inspired no ang ilang names they say you de o or na ashay na ashay touch sa Spain na ashay na ashay pagka Spaniards ang dating no even atong mga names ang dating mga culture sa uh, Spain so ako lai naman ako ni Jonathan naman so sa so, ko ada ko na under sa ko ano ko British <laughs> okay next early 1900s ano yun ang tayo sa that transportation the Philippines was dependent largely on trails waterways railroad earth roads and partially gravel gravel roads so therefore there is no such uh, concrete uh, concrete pa- uh, concrete pavement o asphalt concrete pavement So mostly mura na siya og trails meaning mura siya og dal a uh, pat lang siya ba uh, guide as our means of transportation no our guide where you will where in which people can have their you know, uh, access to the place nga they want to go water is of course ang ato ang bodies of water so they will be using uh, bangka or boats or any form of Uh, so man, any form of or mode of transportation na pwede madala ang goods o ang uh, teapot or ang mga tao railroads in short one of the oldest transportations we have is the railroad so sa ato pa ay ang railroad is not new to us only lang new to our place so for example ang um, not new to us new to us not new to us meaning not new sa Philippines okay in general sa Manila na naman ni siya no remember no to sa uh, Pampanga River you create to 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 Tutuban market so kato siya daan is uh, that's an example of railroad na construction so karon ni sa ato ay na way nga nasa Mindanao okay So far, we don't have any railroads from the even sa Visayas, only in the in Luzon area. Okay, so later on, I, I just hope that uh, we will be given a chance nga, to study or to have an idea about railroad nga, mga experience at the eyes. Maybe in due time, you will be one of the engineers in that project. So I hope so. So highway, no? more than a dream to most Filipinos. So kasi more than a dream, meaning to say, kanang, uh, it was a necessity. No? How they will be able to travel? I, I think also even before or uh, even today, no? we also experience the the shortage or the the problem of giving the right way to to man or the right to access, no, the right to travel. Okay, sometimes. I experienced when I went to. No, I will give you an, a real example. When I went to Claveria or not in Claveria, but in Bukidno, place of Bukidno, no. There was a place yeah, which is really so juicy and it really, it really hurts. No, it really saddened me. Yeah, there are there are still places yeah, uh, needs ato ang expertise no as engineers. So diligin na mga man ang dala. No? especially sa Mindanao na we are about to to develop some of the places na uh, which ang community na nag-exist okay, 
it should be nga community na exist kayo. It should, ang dalan ko kay useless kung wala community na exist. Okay, so, ano na. Next slide is one of the pictures that shows, or one of the pictures na nag show about sa modes of transportation, which, as you can see, kuan ka ng kalabaw. <laughs> or mata. Sabi sa iso, na po yung mga tarta ni Lia, no? Sa iligan, apa man yung ilig. I mean, sa Luzon, apa mong Japan ni. Pero for, kuan na siya, yung purpose. For tourist, kuan na siya, tourist attraction siya. So, in 1901, Act No. 83 passed Philippine Commission collecting taxes and killing municipal properties and undertaking a site construction projects. So, it just means that uh, uh, the taxes of the Filipino people will be used to the projects of the government. So, all the expenses that the government is uh, using is from the taxes of the Filipino people. So for example, nga karon na evident pag ay nga we need we need ayuda, we need uh, we need money. And uh, we need some support from the government. So taxes are very important to nga it should be collected accordingly and it should be uh, uh, given to the right uh, projects na iapiding yeah, allocate no? sometimes the, the, the wrong doings also sometimes is ang corruption no? collecting taxes and it will not be given to the people also so uh, there's a give and take over any situation guys, because we're collecting taxes and of course Filipino me also I am paying no you also paying all of us are paying because buying some items is taxes are there no taxes are there even going to buy shopee taxes are there no so we need to say we are contributing something to the philippine government so ang sad lang is if delete ni siya magive or mahatag sa insakto ng mga projects no so we are no we are responsible and it should be given to the people because we have we are the we pay the taxes no aside mungkot sa taxes at hindi mo sa dingon nga income lang sa government itong sa ligat no hindi mo sa tayo na nakapuan sa so, atong export import business is hindi mo sa na naka taas o great so barato rin yan okay so next slide is about 1902 Bureau of Engineering and Construction of Public Works and Architecture which is created in Acts number 2 and 22 and 268 so the first railroad legislation was 554. So in 1907, the Faculty of Engineering of UST is the oldest engineering school. So uh, correct, uh, correct lang tanong na to. Ha? Okay, um, see you di Manila um, tong nakabutang. Pero I will just try to correct to na uh, first is Faculty of Engineering of UST. Uh, the Faculty of Engineering of UST is the oldest engineering school in the Philippines. Modern is UST. This is offered 1907 BCE and BCE, so 1912. So, graduates nila is 1912. 1919-1954 Metropolitan Water District was founded. So, it is very important class nila. Also, water also is part of the history wherein there are developments sa to ang uh, resources, water resources, generic, no? Supply of water to the community. Next is 1921, the Engineers and Architects Law Act No. 2985, passed on February 23, 1921. The law created separate Board of Examiners for Civil Engineering and Architecture. Filipinos were allowed to practice as architects and engineers because of their experience as my study of class. So, meaning to say, class, before the I, you cannot take the, no, you cannot uh, work, no, you cannot work. If you don't have any experience uh, as maestros de obras, no, for man. 1920. So, a group of civil engineers from the government sector formed the Philippine Society of Civil Engineers, which is PSCE, which was first civil engineering organization in the Philippines with Engineer Marshall Casilag as its first president. 
Dear Casillac received the honor of holding PRC registration number one. So, ako akay number 100,000 ang tigaro ko. Masalil ako magsawa kay. Ikaw 100,000 ako kapin. Ito siya number one. So, after 100,000, ay hapa rin ko na ito. So, dili po sa inyo nga siguro nga time pati ikaw 500,000 na mo. Okay, 1930s is when people going to bridge was replaced to Katong Gitis Casa to earlier Katong Pinto dito at Claveria. Karang yun yung change to Shinto Modern Steel Art Bridge. So it was renamed as Gizan Bridge na din siya. So ang president that time was Manuel L. Quezon. So muna siya, as you can see sa picture, muna siya ang iyaang changes, no? Hindi mo na siyang steel art bridge. It's purely engineering. Okay, next is 1931. Department of Commerce and Communications renamed as the Department of Public Works and Communications. So, sa ato pa, there was also a change of agency's name during that time, 1931. Commonwealth, 1935. Government, so under Manuel Roas, one is siguro. No? So, here, it discussed that so, uh, Act number 4211 permitting underage persons to take the board exam. So, siguro, sa una kay kulang siguro sila o engineering niya. Uh, mga nang school of engineering. 1937 was the Philippine Association of Civil Engineers or PASE, PACE was formed from a group of engineers in the private sector with engineer Enrique Santo Tomas Cortes as its first president. So again, sa PSCE, si Casilag, sa PACE, si Engineer Santo Tomas Cortes. Next, 1940, Highway 54 was the former name of Epifanio de los Santos Avenue or EDSA, stretching some 54 kilometers or Highway 54. So meaning to say Highway 54, it's a long uh, long uh, highways no 54 kilometers long. so serves as a lifeline for hundreds of thousands of people passing or doing business in metro manila so it simply serves as the port an important role sa ato ang commerce for sa ato economy okay so as you can see sa uh, picture na inana siya sa una so Two links lang, so karon mura 8 links ang siguro or 12 links or 10 links na ba ang EDSA Okay, update So during Japanese occupation, no? so, uh, World War II So magiging war, Department of Public Works and Communication DPWC was abolished uh, Okay, so wala na ang kuan sa DPWC then sa continuation of Commonwealth government no Philippine government the Philippine government continued to rehabilitate and construct the roads, bridges, buildings and other infrastructures of course. After after the war, so siguro na yung mga damages at to need sa repair o uh, pag construct o bago ng mga projects. Third Republic Reasoning DPWC started with limited human resource funds, materials and equipment. Sugerisyon o balik ang DPWC under Third Republic. Third Republic meaning ang naklasis. Third one. Third term of office. Huh? 1949 laws separating state statutes between architects and just passed. So, before the reform work in the emerging unit, I was architects and it. So, love, love, love lang ang mga architects. Huh? 1951 is DPWC to DPWTC. So, meaning to say, in part or the appeal na ang transportation sa DPWC. 1954, Republic Act 1192, Bureau of Public Highways was created in RA 1080, making bar or board exam passers are equivalent to first grade of civil service eligibility so uh, current class 
uh, RA 1080s are are a um, mini a uh, minimum requirement sa to ang um, panerbao as civil engineer no you have to pass the board exam in order for you to become a civil engineer so dili siya although some of us i think evidence but sa so may uban nga not working or uh, not able to pass the board exam but act as a civil engineer of course it's okay for me now it's okay but uh, he cannot sign uh, as a civil engineer okay again class the in the philippines class this this work or this kind of job was created and it was uh, it was created under the law so if no we are so kinalang yun tama kapasar support para na kapermata or natay our responsibility sa mga projects po 1955 to 1950 it was a national water works and sewerage system authority or nawasa was created through public act 1383 no? um, ang water system also was improved 1956 civil engineering law was further amended by republic act number 1582 so developments act 1960 philippines was had created one of the top countries in the world that produces architects Ranger since the 60s. Wow. So 1963, RA 3597 was approved on June 22 of 1963. Now was Act. 1964 was uh, Republic Act number 4156 is enacted. And changes, changes the corporate name of Manila Railroad Company to Philippine National Railway Asia. Muna ni class at ang ginagamit siya in July 1964. Our original name day sa Philippine National Railways was Manila Railroad Company. Okay, noted that 1964 is an example of the image. During martial law, Marcos era 1970s, 70s is commonly known as the martial law period. President Marcos issued PB223 creating the Professional Education Commission or PRC regulating all profession. Right? So, so na natin mga munang uh, kinalang gita na uh, may mong eligible for work. Okay, under the law gita. There was also an Industrial Securities and Exchange Commission or SEC issued registration number 538962 to the Philippine Institute of Civilians or the PICE so merging the PSCE and PICE Society and Association so ano yung ni class oh? uh, it will be ang, ang PACE ang PSCE you merge again sa PICE so it is an incorporated of a civil engineer ng mga uh, professional so for create any class is uh, muna ni siya ang ang nahimu yung official nga, nga organization by uh, or, or organization by the professionals no like us no we are now member by PIC so once you have graduated and you are a civil engineer by profession you are a member of PICE so you are obliged to join the organizations activities like for example ilang mga conventions seminars trainings and etc offered by the PICE incorporated so there are lots of PICE na PICE incorporated nga nag base sa Philippines na po nag so there is a merge that happens in 1973 so of course it is an incorporated so there are memberships so na ay mga collection of funds so it should be uh, it should be allocated in their programs no so kamu karon uh, as a student you are a member of JPIs no so i join your philippine institute of civil engineers so meaning to say junior you are still student so you are trained to to join an organization because later on as you grow older as you become a professional like us uh, you will you will uh, determine that uh, being a member of an organization is an important thing because it can help you grow uh, uh, understand and also 
to be aware of what are the trends in the world no okay next 1975 the first international convention was held in the philippines may 20 to 24 1975 so as what i can uh, what i have saying is that uh it is uh the the pice is creating or uh, creating a conventions where professionals can go and can witness the idea of the speaker or the the mentor or the lecturer who is about to share his or her knowledge about her expertise Expertise. nha or national housing authority was created under pd 757 so so may nha or national housing authority so dili siya basa basa it was created also uh, PPA, the Philippine Ports Authority o oh, kaning mga Philippine Ports kaning mga seaports diba? System Inter- International or SI System was mandated in the Philippines so, SI is mandated in the Philippines in that year so, in 1977 PD 1096 or National Building Code of the Philippines and MCP was created so please be careful uh, please be uh, Kind of mindful about the National Building Code of the Philippines. The next was in 1980s. The major highways and expressways were constructed through the financial assistance and loans from foreign banks. So, dili na sugod ato mga utang. So, allergy ta sa loan, no? Okay. Uh, after age revolution, we have 1987. AO or Executive Order Number One Two Four, which was issued by the government, Ministry of Public Works and Highways, is now known as the Department of Public Works and Highways. So, 1987, and declare ang DPWH. So, na ikan sa DPWC, nahimo siyang DPWTC, then nahimo siyang DPWH. Okay, careful ha. 1983, the Port of Civil Engineering at PRC held its fully computerized examinations on May 20, 1983 and released the results on November 9, 1983. So that was the time class nga next start ang computer no. Ang ang imo answer ana is kuan lang kanang pressure na code. Imo lang ang imo ang answer answer sheet is imo lang nang ihatag sa sa, man, sa machine then ang machine will check the correct answers nga na added to nga naka program. So by the way, class, just to give you a a a to be talk ana ha, kanang trivia, no. The first blazer, or the first fully computerized board exam, was none none other than our very own engineer engineer Anisito Neri, so which uh, who is our instructor also our professor also here, the USTP. Uh, he was a graduate of uh, MHU IIT and topped the board exam. So, we should be proud of what we have in our university. Okay, so I am also his student, a student before, and I am proud to say uh, I have learned so much about him, uh, not only about. Uh, about uh, civil engineering world but also to become a true people or a true uh, human being you know? how, how to value uh, life you know, in general so good siya nga na itawa sa 1925 the syllabi for subjects in civil engineering so other exams were promulgated so, sa una mga class kay as long as wala mong gawin, wala, wala limitation sa pag-create or pag kuhaan sa klase. Diretso na, klase mo nila, basta kayo muna. Ano lang, diretso. So, while, while doing the the civil engineering class or kuhaan or preparation for the licensure exam at the same time for your professional practice, the syllabi or making of syllabi 
was from first created you know meaning to say you as a student should be guided in your future through this syllabus so that is why you have observed that during your classes syllabus are being introduced by your instructors so that you will understand why this subject is important and how this subject uh, connects to our profession later on okay so you, in your case you are under 2018 and 2019 curriculum which is uh, created because of the k-12 to uh, k-12 program of our government oh my god get down again 2001 the ICE has been awarded by the professional regulation for IC as the most outstanding accredited professional organization so the government among uh, professionals so on um, PIC is one of the awarded you know, professional 2001 okay so our 2003 RA 918 is an act providing for the modernization standardization and regulation of the procurement activities of the government and for the other purpose was enacted by President Arroyo so can you know it for the like, class is existing in until today 2020 so after 17 years uh, although now I going to have some improvement and uh, modification or revisions but uh, I must say that uh, it's still uh, it is still uh, uh, an act no? where it should on, uh, where the, the current project should be promulgated or regulated we cannot create a building without any or without undergoing 9184 follow the rules procure the activities and present the activities and of course give the exact budget of the activities 2006 since November 2006 CE board exam has released only top 10 board exam performing performers under executive order number 566 by President Arroyo so during that time the class 2006 is uh, a Muslim and God gave previous in 2000 or earlier 2000 ang mga na top 20 ginakasagara no top 20 ang ginatag it provides a PRC for all professionals Nowadays, you can 2006 until 2020, top 10 na lang Sometimes, mga class, sa top 1, top 2, top 3, top 4, na mga mag-type, pili 5, o pat 5 na pulo. So, daga na kaayo. So, mas yun siguro, isa sa reason is to, um, gamay ra ang, marik, <laughs> siguro, gamay ra ang money. So, make the best, yun ka, sa mo ang board exam. Although sa 2007, the CE board exam was invalidated retake. So kani mo nga case class kay na ay mga naitabo nga uh, uh, problem regarding sa board exam. So na ay mga scandalous nga mga event nga naitawa na. Okay, so 2010 up to present Senate Bill uh, number 2109 and Act for the Amendment Republic Act number 544 as amended by civil engineering law introducing uh, introduced by Senator Scudero and Civil Engineering Law of 2011. So, now Engineering Law of 2011. And March 2012 is the Board of Civil Engineering wrote the Philippine Institute of Civil Engineering Specialist Board Exam. Questions will be increased from 30 to 35 per subject and to 100 problems per, su per subject effective for May 2012 board exams. So, uh, by the way, class, your board exam items is 100 per subject so we have three subjects man sa tong board exam uh, which is uh, covered by two days so the uh, first day is you, you will be having the subject uh, two sets na siya uh, one set for morning and two uh, one other set is for the afternoon and the first set um, first set is under mathematics survey and transportation engineering so, pagka hapon da in class is or the afternoon, you will be having the hydraulics and the geotechnical engineering. So, that is the first day. And napaka second day pagka ugma. So, kung ma-frustrate pa kasi mo first day na ang tanan na kayo mo ugma. No? So, 
So for the next day, which is Sunday, no, almost because sa uh, kung ano may tago ang exam sa bago Domingo kay ang ang mga studente manggod kay uh, ang place sa uh, pagtikan ng exam is mostly no, mostly high school or college or depende mo sa available niya rooms. So kay namugi mga klase sa uban sa mga sin makadisturb sa so, muna ng weekend siya. Mostly mga weekend muna nga not only our profession but other profession also are taking the exam. For example, let no pinakadagan na ang mga teachers. So they will be taking the exam oh, apel gali nila uh, apel gali nila ang room sa mga na, room sa mga classroom nila mismo kawalingon. No? Anong pambata grade grade ang mga elementary nga school ba? So they will be using sa kadagan nila 20,000 30,000 nga mag take sa civil kay karon sa sa mo ang time 4,000 raman may nag take all over the Philippines na karon ang mga takers mabot na um, kuan mga 11 um, siguro 11,000 na mostly na 11 to 15,000 dagahan na compare compare karon so um, walang to siya sa atong presentation is only up to March 2012 so walang daw eh wala magkoy wala pa update so um, ang ita uh, yeah sa ta siguro taman and also, uh, siguro in your activity, so I'll be giving you an activity sa uh, ato lang page para dili siya maapilan yun niya. Uh, video discussion and presentation. So, uh, that ends our discussion. Uh, disclaimer lang no, sorry for, for the interruptions or sorry for the, uh, the recording kay may mga problems sa background na no? uh, medyo saba it siya well anyway that is part of our new normal and I have to adapt it and as long as you understand my my lecture uh, it's it's good but uh, if you have comments uh, I cannot give you an answer through my video but you can comment to comments ako ang posted video so that I can give you your correct answer also so uh, don't afraid to ask questions or clarif clarify something about the discussion so that you will also learn something about it no okay so don't